Namaskaram. Welcome to the course Basics of Electronics. In this video, I'll be talking on power rating and its calculation in electronic industry. First, I'll be talking on what is power rating and what is the importance of knowing a power rating in electronic industry. Secondly, I'll be talking on types of power rating and their significance. Third one, I'll be talking on how to calculate a power rating for an electronic device. Last but not the least, I'll be talking on what is the importance of knowing a power rating for electronic design engineer. So let's start. What is power rating and why you need to know about it? First of all, power rating is the maximum amount of power being consumed by any electronic devices while they are working in condition or maybe they are able to handle this particular power without any damage. It is also measured as the total amount of power consumption while the hardware is working on. Especially in electronics, power rating is very important. The SI unit of electrical power is in watts. Based on the value, we will be adding a prefix to it like kilowatts or maybe a milliwatts. It is important for any electronic device engineer to know about power rating to design a efficient and reliable products, especially when they are designing a portable devices. The power rating becomes a very important factor when you are designing a power supplies for any electronic hardware. Without knowing a maximum power consumption, you cannot assume what could be the value of input capacitor, output capacitor or even the inductors. So that's why power rating is very important. Let us consider an example to understand this one much better way. Let us assume we are designing a portable power monitoring device. Say it is a portable, that's why we need to design it with a very optimum condition of power consumption. If you do not know what is the consumption of power for your electronic circuit, which will measure the power consumption of the other devices, then how do you size your batteries? This will help you to size your batteries and also calculate the backup time. That's why power rating is very vital information in electronic device engineering. Now let's talk about the types of power rating and their significance. There are several types of power ratings in electrical industry, but there are seven important parameters to be known for a basics of electronic engineer. So let's start about them. First one is rated power. It is the maximum power handling capacity of any devices based on the manufacturing data. If manufacturer noting it as a one kilowatt of power consumption, then it doesn't handle anything more than that. Second one is continuous power. Continuous power is the amount of power consumption of an electrical device when it is in working condition. Third one is surge power. It is the very short impulse of a power that electrical device can handle without any damage. Usually it is available for a microsecond or millisecond max to max and it is very harmful for any electronic devices. Fourth one is RMS power. RMS stands for root mean square. It is the effective power consumption of an electrical device in its complete working state. Fifth one is apparent power. It is the product of current and voltage in the electrical application. It is also measured in terms of old amperes. Sixth one is reactive power. Reactive power is the amount of power stored in the form of magnetic field in an AC circuit. It is measured in terms of old ampere reactive. Last but not the least, seventh one is active power. Active power is the power consumption of any electronic device as per the functionality or the design specification. It is measured in terms of watts. So these are the seven types of powers in electronic industry. Now let us talk about how to calculate the power rating. As we already done a lot of calculations in our previous tutorials, in this tutorial, I'll consider a couple of examples to explain you how to calculate the certain powers. The example one would be a AC refrigerator or maybe freezer. We know that the refrigerator or a freezer uses a 230 volt and 2.5 ampere of a current rating. By using these two values, we can calculate the apparent power. Apparent power is nothing but a product of voltage and current. With the help of 230 volt and 2.5 ampere, it boils down to 575 watt or maybe 575 volt ampere. This is how simple it is to calculate the power rating for electrical equipments. 
Now let me consider a second example with a DC gadget. Let us assume that you are using any Bluetooth beacons or maybe a Bluetooth headset and it has a 3.3 volt DC voltage with a 25 milliampere of a current consumption. Then the calculation of power is very straightforward which is nothing but P is equal to V into I. Again it boils down to 82.5 milliwatt of power consumption. This value is very important to understand how to design a power supply and also how to size the battery for this headphone. I hope with these two examples you understood how to calculate the basic information about the power rating in AC circuit and DC circuits. What is the importance of power consumption in electronic industry? There are several needs or requirement to understand a power rating for any device engineer or a developer. Of course, if you are an electronic hardware design and manufacturing industry enthusiast or maybe an engineer working in that particular field, then this particular information is very essential for you. For example, if you are designing any DC operated devices or maybe a system or maybe an AC operated device or a system, then understanding a load power consumption is very vital for you. Without knowing that, you cannot judge what kind of a power supply to be designed, what kind of a wires to be used or what kind of a connections to be made with respect to safety instructions or maybe safety of the entire circuit or working principle. In case of a portable device design engineering, the one which we recently talk about like a Bluetooth headphone or a Bluetooth beacon, if we know 82.5 milliwatt is the maximum power consumption of the device, then we can size our battery like if we want 10 hours of backup time, then I can choose a battery with 825 watt of power. Otherwise, how do you guess what is the backup time or what is the size of the battery to be considered? In case of electrical engineering, if you are selecting a specific fuse or a wire gauge, then you must be understanding what is the continuous power or the maximum power consumption. Otherwise, how do you assure your safety or the avoiding a damage to the electrical equipments? That's why power rating and power consumption understanding is very essential for any person who is working with electronic or electrical gadgets. I hope you enjoyed the process of calculating the power and understood the power consumption in a simple words. See you again in the next video. Until then, happy learning. Namaskaram.